Hey guys, this is Cameron509, and what you don't know is that, um, I, anyway, I don't know, I was, we still, ah, oh, shit, well, that was, that's something I meant to show off later, um, so welcome back to my Feed the Beast Ultimate Let's Play, um, since last time, I've made some changes to my setup, unfortunately, something else happened while I was, just as I logged in, which caused very bad things to happen, anyway, let's talk about what we see here, I believe I had this set up at the end of last time. I actually haven't watched the end yet, so I don't know exactly what I'm really going to set up. Here's my sludge boiler. Um, I just think I just set this up. A sludge boiler boils some of the stuff that comes out of here, which is sludge, and um, basically turns it into various kinds of stuff, including clay. This here is a chest, as is this. Down here we have, I think I already had this placed, but I don't know. The planter, anyway, we'll talk about that setup after I go to sleep, but I need to go to sleep first. And then I'll also talk about the steam engine I put down there, and I'll talk about the recipes for the various things. I don't know if I showed, I don't know which ones I showed on screen. I'm pretty sure I showed the harvester on screen. In fact, I'm absolutely certain I showed the harvester on screen, but I think that was the only thing I showed on screen. Um, and, mo and Forge Mod Loader is telling me, hey, good memory leak! Durr. Yes, you've always had a memory leak, Forge um, Ultimate Pack. It's a pretty serious problem, actually. Like, I play for a certain time, and then I'm like, better stop, because you're lagging leaks. Poop! Because I just promised myself I'd swear less in future recording sessions. Alright, so, as I mentioned, this is a harvester. The harvester harvests things, and if, just in case I didn't show it on screen last time around, the recipe for the harvester is... No. This. This here is a sludge boiler. It's the stuff that turns some of the sludge that comes out of here, which is sort of a natural byproduct of the harvester, into um, various kinds of dirt and stuff. The recipe for that can be found here. Yep, that's the sludge boiler. This here is a steam engine, hobbyist steam engine. The hobbyist steam engine is made like this. And the hobbyist's gears are made like, gold plated gears are made like that. Um, this down here, in case I didn't show it on screen, is the planter. The planter is made... Planter... Like this. Again, if you don't remember how you make that, it's like that. And if you don't remember how you make that, it's like that. These are the end result of this, which is the end result of this, which is the end result of this, which remember comes out of the rubber trees. So that's why we have some of it in this chest. Um, this stuff here are, right, are redstone conductive pipes. They're not quite... Well, actually, they're actually more efficient at this length than the preferred, the, the better system. A redstone conductive pipe, it can, or rather just a conductive pipe, is made like this for the wooden conductive pipe, which is required for input, and then like this for the stone conductive pipe. There's also gold conductive pipe, which is slightly less lossy. This here is the redstone energy conduit. It's a lot like pipes, and we're going to use them later. Also, if you're standing too close to the sludge boiler when it turns on, sometimes you'll pick up some nasty effects like poison and um, hunger. Great. That's now all been talked about. You have no idea how long I spent. You're just like, do I, do I, do I have all this? Do I, do I do, can, can I really fit all this in here? Also, there's one last thing I need to show off before we be done. This here is... The this here is a quartz grindstone. Quartz grindstones work like macerators or like um, pulverizers, which you might be more familiar with. We'll take... Uh, do I have anything I can pulverize right now? No, I think I've already pulverized everything. Um, all right, well, we'll have to mine some more. I'll be right back. I mean, I could technically pulverize the other thing, but we'll talk about that. Oh, shit, I'm going to die. No, I survived. Thank God. Um, so after way longer than I imagined that was going to take, I have in fact found myself all the stuff I need to um, show off the pulver, the grinder. I'm also going to die. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, wait, language. Uh, you may have noticed a sudden cut in the audio there. I decided I was going to cut out the swearing. Uh, no, 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 no. I am going to kill you so dead, you won't even know what dead means anymore which is to say you'll be even mildly dead. Um, I wish I had a portal gun. Do I have a portal gun anywhere here? No, I don't. Okay. I actually don't know how to return to the surface. This is awkward as heck. Um, I'll be back in a minute, okay? So we return. I actually haven't managed to survive that particular encounter. Did I remember to close the door? 
Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Um, with tin ore and some iron ore in hand, um, I'm gonna toss that in there, and then I'm gonna show off how this works. So the idea of this is you click this thing, and it goes around in a circle. And then you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you click this thing and it goes around in a circle. And you get two ten dust. You get, you get twice your original aura. But it's manual, so it's very slow. It's kind of boring. Um, it's a lot like if anybody's ever played Better Than Wolves, you'll remember the, th the hand crank that you use to work the millstone. Only the difference is that the hand crank, one, makes you use up food, and two, is marginally less dull. And three, makes an obnoxious noise. Watch well, out, makes an obnoxious noise, too. Ah, the cord is in my way, great. What you don't know is there is actually a cord stretching across my desk, making it, you know, very hard for me to reach across, the, reach across my space, because I've moved my microphone, but my desk is not... It does not make, it, it does not make an awesome, obnoxious noise. Cool! Um, anyway, that's our millstone. Um... I don't really need to mill all this iron, and I'll do it off camera if I ever do need to mill something. Although I probably could make. Uh... All right, I'm gonna show off something. I'm gonna show off one of the little hacks that I've heard of from Reddit, and I've actually tested out. But shh, I, I, I never test anything off camera, right, guys? Yeah, okay. Only I actually, you know, play this off camera sometimes. So, uh, but first, I'm gonna need six sand. Do I really not have any window panes? I really never built a window pane in my entire career so far. I appear to have no window panes. Great. Um. All right. Cool. Let's um. Let's go set up a window pane. Uh. Hopefully before it becomes night again. Shoot. Gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna 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 die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Gonna die. Okay. I'm gonna stop painting. I'm gonna die. Um. So currently we're gathering some sand. Gathering some sand, gathering some sand, um, gathering some sand. <laughs> the doors can be even louder than they were before because my microphone is now actually closer to my door instead of further from it. Yay! Also, the derp voice that you're officially banned. Hey, wait, I remember these things between sessions. What? And yes, this is actually a new recording session. Um, so it's the last one. Uh, it has been for the last seven minutes, or probably since the beginning of the episode. Um, anyway. So I now have six sand, which is enough where I need it. I also could have just put six cobblestone in the grinder, but screw that noise. Um, so the idea here is we're going to use the furnace for a moment. Um, hey, you, sleep in the bed. Hey, you, sleep in the bed! What? That was confusing. Only mildly confusing, though. So we're going to throw this in the furnace. We're going to find ourselves four planks. One, two... Uh, well, I have logs. Um, One moment. Go to get me some logs. It's my, my run out of... If I run out of steam, ha ha ha. Alright, so, the thing is, that if this thing is hot and it's out of water, um, and you put a water bucket in it, it will actually blow up, so I recommend against doing that. Um, <laughs> it will actually blow up, I recommend against doing that. Durr, football coach! And Dirt Voice, you're officially banned, even if you are actually a different joke. Um, what do we do with the ball? Do I kick it? Do I eat it? Uh, no. Anyway, um... Do I punch myself in the face? Do I punch myself in the it with face? Um, or something. I actually don't know what I was going to fail there. But I don't know what I was going to fail. I don't know what I was going to fail to say there. Rather, I don't know what I was going to say when I. Also, I did have me I could grind. I had lead ore. Um, and the thing I was going to say is that I could grind up this ferrous ore, but I actually want it for something later. What do I want it for later? <gasps> Watching a million episodes to find out. Because this series moves way slower than I'd like it to. But I don't really have the ability to make it move much faster. Um, we're going to be back when I'm done with this furnace. So, we're just going to be back now. Um, even though we're not quite done with the furnace. Um, anyway, what we have here is the makings for the thing we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a computer. This is a computer craft computer. Um, it's, a, it's not actually what we're going to use this for. And then we're going to take this... Uh, we're going to need to grab something out of a chest here. I know I made one too many of these because, long story, I just didn't want to waste... I didn't want to waste a full operation of a furnace. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. This is a turtle. Turtles are useful for all kinds of things. If we had three diamonds, I'd probably make a mining turtle and show off those. Although, they're kind of glitchy, um, in the way they behave. 
Uh, in particular, they, they, they're kind of glitchy. This is a Crescent Hammer. A crescent Hammer plus a turtle is an engineering turtle. We're going to write a really simple program. Uh, I think I can just... Huh, okay, so that's that. Yeah, that's that. Um, how, do I, how do I put down my turtle? All right, we're going to make a move program for you. So you're facing the wrong way, so edit... One moment. Alright. I don't think I can just tell it to move forward, so... Um... Oh, you don't have any fuel, right. I know how this works. Alright, so now we're facing the uh, thing there, you see? We're just going to tell the turtle... I think I can just edit start up here, and I think this is how this works. Correct me if I'm wrong. While... True, do, um, turtle dot attack. Oh, I can actually have a tab button. Wow, my tab button actually works. I can I can write programs that you know look like real computer programs here. I can also not be able to find the right keys. Um, I think it's also run when the game starts up, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, because it has the wrench, it imitates the, just the right generic right-click action in this particular case. And so what it'll do is it'll just, when it uses attack, it'll turn this thing. When it turns this thing, um, it uses this. So this is an engineering turtle using using a quick loop that just, all, that, well, whenever it's true, it attacks. Which is always, because true always evaluates to true. Yeah. True always evaluates to true. Important point there, guys. True is true. You didn't see the face I was making at the camera, but it was great. I had my eyebrows raised like, this is a deep insight, everybody. Yeah. I think I could have done something else for that. I don't know. Um, anyway, but it was, it was just a quick loop that was supposed to run forever. Um, yeah. Well, I also could have written, recursive, written it recursively. Um, function blah, act call function blah, although I think that quickly causes a stack error, although I don't know exactly how LUA treats stacks, so it could not work that way at all. Um, what, what are you talking about, Cam? Yeah, I actually know a thing or two about programming. I could have written that program recursively. On the other hand, why would I? So here we have a, um, I'm just expanding this read from I started. I actually don't know if you guys saw, saw me start this read from. I started a read from over here. Reads are kind of useful. They're a big deal in one of the mods I'm running, um, in Mistcraft, which we'll see later. Um, they're a pretty big deal in, uh, in, in Industrial Craft in some ways. I mean, they're not necessarily necessary at all from Industrial Craft, nor are they actually necessary for Mistcraft eh, because of the carpenter in, uh, Mistcraft. Long story there. Don't worry about it. You can make paper. It's all that matters. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was that reads are useful in industrial craft, but they're not terribly useful. Um, they're just useful in general, so I, I keep around a small read farm, typically. Because they're like saplings that are free in terms of just usefulness. Are we out of power? Are we out of power? Are we out of power? We're not quite out of... I've been waiting for this thing to, to stop working for a while so that I can show off how it works, but um, <laughs> it's going to be episode two of this session that it finally stops working. Um... Yeah. So anyway, we'll see that our turtle is still hacking away at this in, at this thing. Uh, there's one wheat in here because I made flour. Um, flour is a cheap way of making bread, sort of. I'm actually not sure I'm convinced that a, 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 a an operation of a furnace is less valuable to me than a unit of wheat right now. But anyway, because that's the trade-off that costs you. You have to cook the flour, but the flour only costs two wheat. Basically, at the cost of an op at a furnace operation, you get um, a 
30, 50% output increase? Yes. 3 over 2 is 150, and I think that would be the right way of... Yeah, anyway. 